Dr. Tomich. This is Jen Staten. I'm calling from 4 ASIC at Chandler. I'm calling you about Carrie Tarr. She's a patient that came in with anemia, unknown etiology, and got her labs back. Her hemoglobin is 6.5 and her hematocrit is 21. Do you want us to transfuse some blood? Right now her vital signs are stable. Okay. Okay, so I've got transfused two units of packed red blood cells today and do a repeat H&H &H in two hours. Okay, I'm going to write that down and I'll put the physician signature uh, sticker on the chart. Just please make sure that you sign this telephone order today. Okay, thanks. Hey Jan, are you ordering blood? Yeah, I'm ordering blood for the patient in 479. Stop! In the name of blood! That's right. I'll go take care of it right now. <laughs> awesome. All right. Hi, Carrie. I just got your lab results back, and I reported them to Dr. Tomich. It looks like your blood levels are low, and we want to be able to transfuse blood for you. This is an information sheet and a consent allowing us to do that. And what questions do you have for me about the procedure? Well, do I really need this, and are there any risks involved? It looks like you do need it based on your lab levels. Your hemoglobin is about half of what we would like to see. Um, there's risk with every procedure that we do. I can answer questions for you, and I can get your physician to talk to you if that would help. Well, I think I'd like to speak to my doctor. Okay, we'll go ahead and give him a call. Hi, Dr. Tomich, this is Jen Staten. I'm calling back from Chandler for ASIC. Just calling you about Carrie Tarr. She has some questions about blood transfusion before we get her consent for the procedure. Here she is. Hi, Dr. Tomich. Yeah, I'm just a little concerned. She said there might be some risks involved, and I was wondering if you could go over those with me. And do you really think I need this blood today? Okay. Okay, okay, then I'll do it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Is he still on the phone? Yes. Okay, and I'll call you back with the follow up H and H as soon as we finish with the blood. Okay, thanks, Dr. Tomich. Okay. Was he able to answer all your questions and address your concerns? I think so. Okay, yeah. so let's go ahead and get you to sign the consent here. Okay. And what we'll do is I'll send down to the blood bank for the blood, and we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Carrie. We've got your blood ready. This is another Carrie. She's actually going to help me check the blood Hi. with you. Okay. Okay. Here's my consent. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, perfect. Carrie Tar. And we're yeah. going to go ahead and start verifying the blood. Scan your wristband. Scan the blood. Okay. And Carrie, this is where you're going to start signing. And you saw the blood consent. My pre-treatment vitals are in your doc. They're right here. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Okay. And let's do patient name really quick. Okay, you ready? Yes. This is Carrie Tarr. Carrie Tarr. Date of birth, 7-11-45. 7-11-45. For M number, 00000-9354. Correct. For V number, 00001015. And her blood bank number is T, as in Tom, UU2036. TUU2036. Yep, from my phone. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hang your blood now, Carrie. All those checks are just to protect your safety. I'm going to go ahead and post sign here.
Thank you. Okay, so we're going to run this over and keep an eye on you here for about 15 minutes. Make sure you're doing okay. Watch your vital signs and you know the things to alert us to, right? Right. Okay. Good. All right, remember some key things whenever you're hanging your blood is you always need to check consent prior to hanging your first unit. All right, and all patients need to have the white consent forms, not just the green consent forms. You have to have the white consent forms. Also remember with your blood tubing, you can never give any medications through your blood product tubing. Uh, you always want to monitor for signs and symptoms of transfusion reactions and always use new tubing if consecutive units are delayed for at least 20 minutes or more.